like to acknowledge our dignitaries with us today. Mayor Jackie Izzo, Commissioner of Public Safety, Frank Petrosi, Fire Chief Tom Makovici, Rome Police Chief Kevin Beach, Knight County Executive Tony Presenti, New York State Senator Joe Griffo, from the United States Representative Claudia Kennedy's office, Pat O'Brien, New York State Assemblywoman Marianne Buckshan, City Councilors Ramona Smith, Frank Anderson, John Grace, Rick Dursey, Ron Tracy. Representing the Eastern Air Defense Sector, our senior airman Willie Usher and Airman First Class Megan Mills. At this time, I'd like to ask Father Sean O'Brien, the chaplain of the Police Department and Fire Department, to say the invocation. Let us pray. Almighty God, as we gather this morning to remember the events of September 11th, we ask that you fill our hearts with both humility and courage. The courage, Lord, to always stand up for our brothers and sisters. The courage, Lord, to always march into danger to save the life of the vulnerable. And the humility to know that the gifts of life and love of family and friendship come from you. We ask this in your holy name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Uh, would everyone please remain standing for the singing of the National Anthem by Miss Anna Zumbra. Today's public service are confronted with a more dangerous work environment than ever before. 
We are forced to continually change our strategies and tactics to accomplish our tasks. Our methods may not change, but our goals remain the same they were in the past, to save lives, to protect property, sometimes at a terrible cost. This is what we do. This is our chosen profession. This is the tradition of the firefighter. The fire service of today is ever-changing, but it's steeped in the traditions 200 years old. One such tradition is the sound of a bell. In the past, as firefighters began their tour of duty, it was the bell that signaled the beginning of that day shift. Throughout the day and night, each alarm was sounded by a bell, which summoned those brave souls to fight fires and to place their lives in jeopardy for the good of their fellow citizens. And when the fire was out and the alarm had come to an end, it was the bell that signaled to all the completion of that call. When a firefighter had died in the line of duty, paying the supreme sacrifice, it was the mournful toll of that bell that solemnly announced the comrade's passing. We utilize these traditions as symbols, which reflect honor and respect on those who have given up so much and who have served so well. To symbolize the devotion that these brave souls had for their duty, the special signal of five rings, three times each, represents the end of our comrades' duties and that they will be returning to quarters. And so, to those who have selflessly given their lives for the good of their fellow man, their task completed, their duties well done, to our comrades, their last alarm, they are going home. Here we dedicate plaques on the wall to the deceased and retired fire and police officers. Family or friends purchase the plaques. The forms are available at Central Fire Station. The plaques have the individual name, years of service, and a tribute to their service. The plaques are specifically colored red for firefighters and blue for police officers. We have one new plaque dedication today with retired uh, Fire Chief Ron Bremen and his family. Please step forward. I was going to say please stand, but everybody stays standing, so we're all standing. The plaque reads, uh, Chief Ronald M. Bremen, 1984 to 2020, dedicated leader, proud fireman, devoted husband, and loving father. Because of COVID-19, not everybody was able to attend last year's ceremony and plaque dedication. So last year we dedicated two plaques. I'm going to read those plaques to you. The first one is for Patrolman Edward Wadilla. The plaque reads, Patrolman Edward J. Wadilla, 1953 to 1978, loyal to the end, loving husband and father. And the second plaque is for Fire Lieutenant Tim Peter Paul. The plaque reads, Lieutenant Timothy W. Peter Paul. 1987 to 2013. Son, brother, nephew, cousin, father, papa, our hero. At this time, I would like to invite Mayor Izzo to come to the podium to say a few words. Good morning. marks the 20th anniversary of one of the worst, the worst terrorist attack in the history of our nation, September 11th. It was a beautiful day just like today when 2,900 plus people lost their lives at the Twin Towers in a field in Pennsylvania at the Pentagon. And we must never forget that happened. And as time goes on, it seems to heal all, all wounds. But this week, I find myself having a harder time watching some of the coverage again. Because we have new stories that are emerging. And it paints a different picture. Because we're getting the real human interest. Accounts of what happened to the relatives that didn't make it the heroism, the bravery of running into the building knowing they were going into grave danger and may not come out again. For the NYPD, the FDNY, our military, and all of the civilians who went to work that day without a clue that they wouldn't come home. And for their families, they wouldn't come home. 
and the terrible events of ending the war in Afghanistan and our 13 service members being killed. Another reminder that we are never going to be completely out of the war of terrorism. We must be on our guard and we must always remember the sacrifices that were made that day but continued on for 20 years in other wars in the Middle East and in some instances other terrorist attacks on our own soil. But we can rest assured that in those 20 years our government and our military made sure that those attacks never happened again to that scale on American soil. So today when we look at our flag, we should be proud because we are proud Americans. This is the best country in the world because it speaks of freedom. And freedom is something that must never be taken for granted. So thank you for being here today, coming again to honor all the brave people that didn't survive that day and being proud that we were part of keeping America safe and we will continue to do that and every day our police and fire department, our first responders, they're here for us and I hope that you're here for them. Thank you for being here this morning. And please take a moment throughout the day to remember all of those, not only at the World Trade Center, but in the field in Pennsylvania and at the Pentagon. Thank you, Mayor. At this time, I'd like to invite Father O'Brien back to the podium for a benediction. go our separate ways this morning, we ask the Lord to send us blessing down upon all firefighters and police officers, EMT and ambulance brigade, but especially the men and women of the police department and the fire department here in our great city of Rome, New York. We ask the Lord to send his blessing down upon them and upon their families, that they may be protected from all physical harm and spiritual evil. We ask the Lord also to watch over and, and protect the men and women who serve in the Army and the Navy, the Air Force, the Marine Corps, the Coast Guard, and the Merchant Marine who protect our great nation. And we ask this in the Father's holy name. Amen. Shortly after the events of 9-11, uh, the city police and fire departments uh, came together and built this park. The hundreds of hours of off-duty hours uh, by members of our, both agencies did what you see here today. As you look at the memorial wall, which is a tribute to police and fire department members who served Rome, you'll notice the deterioration has occurred and the plants are showing their age. The members of the police and fire departments have decided to undertake a refurbishing project this year. Our plan is to remove the plaques from the wall, sandblast, repaint, and reseal them. Additionally, the plan is to install an open front roof shelter over the plaques to protect them from the weather. And the cost of materials for this project are going to be covered by a fundraising campaign. The labor will be done by members of the police and fire departments. We have information available after the ceremony at the firehouse for anybody wishing to donate to the cost of this project. We want this park to remain a source of pride and gratitude to the members of the Rome Police and Fire Departments. This concludes uh, today's ceremony. Thank you all for attending. Stay safe. Freshmen across the street at the firehouse. You're all invited.
<clears throat> the good old days of the fire department. Initial, remember they put our instead of 